Hello and welcome to designing. Today we are going to draw this illustration. Thank you for being here. So we shall start our illustration by having or downloading an image from the website like Pinterest or Behance and then we are going to upload that image into the color palette FX website. So it shall be giving us the colors from color palette from that image. Somehow we have to import that image or colors into our document or the artboard. You can see that we have already imported the sketch uh, for the illustration of the Valentine. So just by simply using the pen tool we have to cover the lines as you can see I have changed the outline color <coughs> to the red because it is the most visible color here I can see according to the background so here we have completed our first outline of the heart and I think it needs some corrections in the curves so we have to make them a good looking curve and we have to correct the positions of the handles and by just zooming out and zooming in we can assume that where we can add more perfections so you can do it as you want it to be So here I think almost our first step is done and we have covered all the sketch with the outlines. So now we shall be filling those objects with the colors according to the palette we have. So we have to decide by ourselves that which color do you want, uh, uh, which color you want to assign to a specific object depends on you and what suits your drawing pattern. While assigning the colors you can make necessary corrections according to the drawing you have in mind. So you can do changes or whatever you want to do according to your concept. So here our first step of coloring or the second step sorry for the second here our second step of coloring the drawing is done just keep in mind that you must have a backup uh, or a plan for what you have drawn so we have to copy the whole drawing before moving to the next step which is that we have to apply the gradient to the different object as we want so it results in a good way then it's better for you and if it results in a bad way then the backup plan will be a good thing for us so i have copied the whole illustration uh, on the right side of the artboard step i am adding gradients uh, to the uh, different objects uh, like these leaves so it shall be adding more depth uh, to my illustration and you can also observe that it is looking better than before as it was looking with the flat colors so I have applied just two or three kind of different gradients to the first or two uh, first to one or two or three I think objects and then I am just simply changing or, or adding them the gradient by 
using the eyedropper tool. I felt that plants are not looking attractive so I decided to, to add more detail to the plants. I am just adding simple white lines and I have added a transparency to them just to make the leaf structure more a bit more visible so you can see that it is looking more better than before. So we are done with coloring the plants and adding the details to them. Now we will be adding more depth to the illustration by increasing the number of objects and copying the plants that we already have in the illustration and <coughs> adding a different color to them which uh, and uh, we shall be reflecting them and uh, putting them in the back of our uh, illustration so it will be giving a good effect and uh, it will fill the empty area that we have the illustration and the background where our objects are and then we shall be doing some necessary color corrections and the necessary arrangements that suit our illustration. One thing that uh, I forgot to mention it is the uh, shadow. Uh, the shadows uh, with the object have so it shall be giving more depth to my characters thank you for being here and if I have missed something then you can ask me in the comment section below see you in the next video